Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have a scrapbooking process video for you using the Coco Vanilla Midnight Kit. This is a picture of my daughter um, going to dance and I use the tonic guillotine to cut that into a 4x4. I'm going to be using these Carrie Bradford Juniper Alphas in XL. She had these in various sizes and I missed the release, but my girlfriend got these for me for my birthday. Hi, friend! So I marked off where the title was going to go and then where my pictures were going to go so I knew where I needed to do my journaling. So I put the cardstock into my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter typecast and I journaled. Dance studios are allowed to be open with some conditions during this pandemic. The 2020 to 2021 season is starting and Kaya made it onto two dance teams. That means she is taking six dance classes and one private lesson. Kaya does better in studio than on Zoom. She promises not to complain about going to dance this season. She is most excited about being on a dance team with 10 year olds. Hope this isn't too much for her. And uh, while I'm taking her to dance, it's so funny because when I see her on in the dance classes with her dance team, of the older girls. It's like all these girls are tall and then all of a sudden there's a drop <laughs> with Kaya. But she's loving it and she hasn't complained yet so that's good. So I'm showing you where I'm going to be putting my pictures and my alphas and so I'm going to make another dot or dot or a mark I should say on top of the photo so I know where I'm going to be doing my stamping. So I'm taking my T ruler just to make sure I stamp it correctly. So I use my powder tool to take away all the static from the top portion of the cardstock. Now the title of my layout is going to be Dance. So I'm putting um, the letters D, A, N onto this one acrylic block because I only have this acrylic block so I got to do it in two, um, two sections. So I use the eraser to take all the debris off of the stamps and then I'm using my Versa Mark to go ahead and stamp D-A-N onto the cardstock. Sorry about the camera moving around, I just wanted to make sure I got a good impression on the cardstock. So I'm just showing you that I'm using the Nuvo um, embossing powder and this is in white. I guess this was a brand new um, embossing powder since it hadn't been opened yet. Um, so I'm showing you that I went ahead and dusted it off and then I'm using my heat tool to go ahead and um, heat the embossing powder so it melts. Now one thing to note when you're using a heat tool is go ahead and heat the tool up before you put it on near the embossing powder to melt the powder and you need to be careful because if you put the heat tool too long on the paper, it can burn the paper, which I have done, so learn from my mistakes. So now I'm going to finish off the word with the C and the E, and I'm going to use the eraser again to take off all the debris and use the Versa mark and also put that, stamp that down and repeat the process again with the embossing powder and then um, heat embossing this. Now after I do that, um, I forgot to press play as I was recording this next portion of the video and I do take some of my scraps from this midnight kit and I'm going to layer my photo. Now as I layer my photo I'm using a label or a tab I should say and I'm going to staple that to the top left hand corner of my photo and then I'm going to use three pieces of cardstock that came with the kit and I'm just going to use the scraps that I have to um, layer my photo. Now there's going to be a blue and white stripe piece that you're going to see and that's from a frame and I cut the frame in half. See there you see it and I took some embellishments. I cut the frame in half and then I'm putting one on the top left hand side of my photo and one on the bottom right hand side. I'm using my um, One Canoe 2 date roller date stamp and I'm using Versa Versafine in Morning Mist, which is a gray, and I'm stamping that right above the My Happiness snicker on the bottom. I'm going through the embellishment kits, um, and this collection came with some beautiful embellishments. So I ordered a, all everything that came with this um, collection. And I'm using foam adhesive to adhere the, uh, the flowers so that they pop up. For these chipboard hearts that I'm putting into each of the embellishment clusters, I'm using the Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive to adhere that to the cardstock or the flowers so that it stays put. 
Now you'll see my three embellishment clusters are on the top left of the photo, bottom right of the photo, and then on the very bottom of the page. This is a vertical foundation design, and so it just goes straight down. So I have a lot of white space on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. I'm trying to decide if I should put this transparent sticker onto the bottom of my photo, and I decide against it, and I'm going to use a word sticker that says, Every Moment Matters. So I'm going to put that down onto the very bottom right-hand side of my photo. Then I'm going to add more flowers to the embellishment clusters, and I'm going to do that using foam adhesive so that everything pops up, and there are different dimension from the other flowers that are on my layout. So I'm going to add a flower piece to each of the three areas of embellishment clusters. And then, of course, I want to splatter, but I'm going to refrain myself because I do tend to splatter on almost all of my layouts. But I can't resist putting Nouveau Drops on there. And the purple Indigo Eclipse is the perfect color compared to these like gray purple um, color in these flowers and the hearts. It's just uh, so beautifully matching. <laughs> and the Indigo Eclipse has kind of a pearly sheen to it. And I love it. So I'm going to put three dots into the three areas of embellishment clusters. And then I'm going to call my layout done. This was a super fast, super easy um, layout, just using scraps of paper. And so I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend who you think might enjoy these types of videos, and I'll see you next time.